Hello, let's look at what I think is a good way to both discover what's available in the core collection of the Odin programming language, as well as learn sort of how to write Odin code. So I have here a little program. This program has a array called numbers and it just prints numbers like this. So if we run it, it just prints the contents. What I want to do is I want to sort this uh, fixed array before printing it. So I want to discover somehow where is sort of some kind of sort procedure. So the way we're going to do that is by making it possible to symbol search in the whole of core. So what we'll do is we will first pop open the side panel in Sublime here. So the sidebar, we click show sidebar. And you see I've already pulled in my, my folder here, my first program where my only Odin file is. So what we'll do now is we'll go to the place where our Odin compiler is here and we will pull in core into the text editor and you see it appear on the side here. I will also pull in the base collection because that also contains lots of useful things. What we can do now is we can press Control shift r to get the symbols in project search pop up and then we just type sort for example. We're like, oh, there seems to be a bunch of things related to sort. But this first one, sort, sounds quite good. Then you get a few different hits on different files in core that sort of contain something called sort. But uh, topological sort sounds a bit maybe not like what we want. So you look around a bit here, but eventually you might like, stare at this. Okay, this this one is, is, is in core slice. So it has something to do with array slices and, and its source. So that sounds quite good. And, and you can even look at what the source code does here because everything in core comes as source code. So we can go back then because if you look at this, this is core slash slice means that it is in the slice package of core. So we go back to our uh, program here and just import core slice because we discovered where it is. And then we write slice.sort numbers. And this one wants a, a slice, not a fixed array. So we, we, we slice the whole fixed array like that. We compile and run and it is sorted. Now that was just a simple example where we kind of, the first hit was just a single word, you know, quite easy to find. Perhaps we have something more complicated where we're not even sure, we're not even sure where to look or what procedure name it is we really want. So in this case I have this string here and it contains some Chinese characters and say that I want the rune, the second uh, sort of UTF-8 code point in here. So I want this one. So I want to extract that somehow. I want to find a procedure that can do that for me. So what I can do then is, since I, since I know I want something related to a rune, I do control shift R and I type uh, rune and then I'm like, okay, what, well, you just type rune and then space. So this is sort of a fuzzy search here. So you don't need to type the, the name perfectly. You can be like, okay, a uh, rune count. No, not count. It's maybe rune, rune index, index rune. Then can be, maybe you look at what this one does and then you're like, nah, that doesn't seem correct. Press escape. And then you go like, maybe rune space pos. And then it says rune at pos. Well, that sounds quite good. So you press enter and you look at it. Oh, then you see the code there. It's actually quite simple, this code. It seems to, if, if the pos is less than zero, it returns an error. And other than that, it just loops over the string and counts the runes. And if the position is correct, then it returns it. Like, oh, okay. And then you look at, where is this? Well, it's in UTF-8. Okay, that's in, you look at the whole path up here, core Unicode UTF-8. This means that we need to import core colon Unicode slash UTF-8. Okay, we do that import core colon unicode slash utf8 then we go down here and we say second rune is utf8 dot rune at pos str and then we put one since it's zero indexed and then we can fmt dot print ln second rune we do that and it printed our rune the second rune here for us. So you see here we were able to start with what we know. Okay, we know we want something that contains rune. And then we just put a space and we started trying different words until we found something. And another nice thing here is that if we go back to the UTF-8 file here, we look at this code and maybe we actually learn something from it. We, it's like, okay, this seems this loop here seems to, it doesn't seem to loop over the bytes of the string. It seems to loop over the 
the runes, so it loops a whole rune at a time. And you know, you, you kind of learn these small things. And by doing this jump to symbol in core, you will be forced to look at code in core constantly, and you will learn a lot about the language. So this is just one of several possible ways to learn things about the Odin programming language. In the book that I've written, I try to list like what to do, like this is for people who read the, the book, but if you can't figure something out in Odin and, uh, and you can't find anything in the book either, then I usually recommend first that you check the language overview, the official one, and then you look inside demo.odin, which is inside the examples folder inside your compiler directory. But then I, this is what, and this is why I put this here. I, I say that you should search in core and base library collections, pull core and base folders into your text editor and search around in there. But in Sublime, it's extra nice because you have this fuzzy symbol search. It doesn't work in all text editors. I've tried to make this work in, for example, VS Code. Doesn't have as nice sort of being able to just pull in directories and do a nice fuzzy search uh, in, in, in all of the folders you have open in your workspace. Haven't, haven't been able to do that. If anyone has an idea on how to get that to work in VS Code, then I would be very happy to hear, to hear it. But I, you know, you just want something where you can just type words and find things in core without having imported that package at all, because you want to discover what's there. You don't want to like look at what you already know. You want to discover new things. So that's why this is so great. Another thing here is of course, some people use the Odin language server or OLS, which gives code completion. And some people might say, well, can't you just OLS do this for us? Like, so you could get that working in, for example, VS Code and in Sublime Text or whatever you use. I would say that for discovering new things, when you don't know what, you, what it is you want exactly, then the symbol search is what you want. So you start with that. I want to find something new, start with the symbol search. Then when you know that you want something uh, specific inside a specific package, then you can use OLS to sort of look through there. So OLS was disabled in the beginning of this video, but now I have enabled it. So I, then, you know, I could do it like utf 8rune and then it gives me rune, and then maybe you find rune at post down here, and you see that you need to feed it a string and an integer. But knowing that rune at post was inside the utf8 package, and knowing that the utf package even exists, is, is, I would say, that's the tricky part. And OLS is not gonna help you find the UTF-8 package. For that, you use this global symbol search that looks inside your program, inside core, inside base. And also if you use something like Raylib or any other thing from the vendor collection, then you can pull them in as well. And then you have symbol search across all of them. You can even pull in, uh, if you use Raylib, for example, you can pull in the both the Odin bindings and also the, the Raylibc source code. So you can both jump to, like you can both symbol search for the bindings. And then when you want to know what does the C code do, then you can jump straight to that as well. So it's very handy for exploring both, you know, the core collection and all that, and then also whatever packages it is you're using. Like I said, this works super well in Sublime. Haven't gotten it to work nicely in, in VS Code. If you know a way to get specifically sort of something like this, being able to type rune space pos and get this suggestion like this in VS Code by just having it like this with an extension or something, if you know anything about this, then just please leave a comment so other people using VS Code know about that. And also if you're, you're using some other editor and maybe there's some super nice way to do this in Vim. I don't use Vim, so I don't know, but uh, I, I think this is the absolutely best way to, to explore core and be exposed to all the Odin code inside core and quickly understand it. Thank you so much for watching and special thanks to my patrons for their support. And if you want to learn more about the Odin programming language, then you can try reading my book. There's a free sample on the website odinbook.com. Have a great day and happy programming. Bye bye.